Hello, I'm Brack of the Pirate, and welcome to my Let's Play of Aquatic Grave. Now, this is a game about a woman going on a cruise ship, and she meets a sea witch or something. So, yeah, let's just play. Yeah, made for the Burgon RPG Maker Game Jam. Four. So, like Seabound. Apparently got second, so I'm expecting good things about this game. Anyway, oh, feels so nice to get away from the hectic urban life. In the city, there's so much I worry about non-stop. But on this cruise, pretty much all these worries stripped away from my mind. For now, at least, I'll have more to worry about when I get home. So all I need to do for now is relax, relax, relax. Dang it, I can't stop thinking about all this work that I'm going to have to do once this is all done. Not to mention the fact that you decided to go on a cruise without knowledge on traversing water. Oh gee. Relaxing doesn't exactly come first nature to you. But one sound, the sound of the crowds in the distance make you feel like your eardrums will explode. Second, your skin burns as the sunlight attacks it. Third, your head feels as though there's something pressing on it from the outside. Oh, I knew it. It just can't seem to chill out. As you limit your land of chilling, you begin to hear something. Ears are pleasantly aroused by the singing. Goodness, what a beautiful melody. Who could be the singer? As the waves rock the ship like a can't cradle, you fall asleep, oblivious to the incoming storm. In fact, it seems as though no one is aware of the clouds incoming. Hurricanes waves sway the massive ship back and forth. In fact, it sways so much that... Ship you're on, unbeknownst to you, capsizes. Go down along with the ship. So our tale starts with you singing to the bottom of the ocean. Oh. Are you awake now? Are you alright? Fishy odor invades your nostrils. Uh, who? What's the fish? Oh, uh, ah, I see. You still haven't come to your senses. It's right, you rest, darling. We'll have an amazing life together once you awaken. I'll do some more time spent unconscious. You're finally up and ready. Okay, you're still a bit groggy, but on looking at your surroundings, you realize that you're not anywhere familiar. What? Where am I? Why am I in this really cool bedroom? Hmm. So hand drawn. Yes, most RPG Maker horror games have some custom artwork. I wonder why. I wonder why RPG Maker, like RPGs, don't have custom artwork so much. Guess there's a full on jewelry disc shitting on it. It's kind of weird. Why? Why do we. <laughs> Why are we so untalented <laughs> as RPG maker devs, as RPG devs? <laughs> you walk in the kitchen. Yes, yeah, someone is there. Someone with the most luxurious hair that you ever seen. And she notices you. Ah, oh, you're finally awake. That's good to know. Here I was thinking that you died on me. Who the heck are you? Did you kidnap me or something? Kidnap you? Why, darling? Of course not. Actually, I arrested you for that dreadful wreckage nearby. What wreckage? You don't know. You were on the boat. Yes, it might have been lost consciousness at some point. I was on my daily swim when the light from the love was blotted out by a dark figure. A ship, to be precise. I swam over to the wreck and I saw you, a poor land sinking like an anchor to her demise. I had to save you. I'll never be able to live without myself if I let you die. Oh, alright, this clears up a lot. I think it kind of reminds how to remember now. Sorry for being so rude. It's just that walking up 
in the room of a strange is kind of scary. Oh, uh, God, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's fine, really. I get that a lot. A weird sea woman residing in the bottom of the ocean. Of course, the land dweller is going to be scared. Wait, is she a sea witch? I don't know. I remember. I have weird memory. <laughs> She's a sea woman. I know it's anything like that at all. I was just extremely confused as to where exactly I am. One minute I was falling asleep to this captivating melody, and the next thing I know, I wake up in a cool bedroom. Uh, funny you should say that. It's been forever since I've had guests, so I didn't even have time to arrange the room properly. Just thank you for saving my life. Even though I was awake, I wouldn't have been able to save myself. It's nothing, darling. I've been creeped up in there for so long I needed the exercise. By the way, you're probably starving. You're unconscious for a few days. A few days? Yes, it was a few days. Why do you look so shocked? Just said I have to go back to work soon if I'm right about what day it is today. Oh, I see. How about this? Just stay for a while and dine with me. You need the energy, energy base. Well, I'm a bit hungry. I could... No, no, as long as you're here, you're my guest. Oh, God, I rest too long. I'm, not, I'm too... Yeah. I am in the best state right now, so let me tend to you. But darling, I didn't catch your name. I'm more certain you are. Cordelia. Call me Cordelia. Now, Marissa, my lovely little guest, I'm going to serve you a meal to die for. In fact, you nearly died, and she just said that rubs you the wrong way just a teensy bit. At the same time, she didn't mention she's been alone for a long time. So I guess I'll cut her some slack. Probably should leave soon. I don't know how long I've been here. I need to go back to work. But at the same time, I feel pretty bad just leaving the woman who saved me. After putting a little bit more thought to it, you decide. There's no harm in staying a while. Who's ready? That's pretty fast. I should probably sit down in a bit. Our fridge operates in this underwater house is beyond me. What do you think about this thing? The less it makes sense. After all, an underwater house is surrounded by, well, water. Cutting water with a knife placed on top. Ugh, excuse me. Appears to be fish juice sustaining the board. I'll stay to the underwater house beyond me. Hmm. Hmm. Living crabs, living crabs. Pins is threatening you, so you stay far away from this box. Majestic grand piano. Well, oh, I've never seen one of these up close. I only ever dream of affording one. See, there's a rainbow of color within. Table with a massive con cell sitting on top of it. Okay. You situate yourself at the, at the dining table. As you observe the dish, it becomes obvious what the source of that fishy spell was. I've read this specifically for you, Marissa. Now, how do you know that this is my favourite food? Gut instinct. Kadil, you seem to know a lot about what I like. From the cool bedroom to the food. Are you sure you aren't stalking me or something? Ah, stalking a land well from the dark abyss that is the ocean proves to be lacking in difficulty for me. Now let's consume this ravaging meal. Ravishing. Pick up the fork and knife and try to resist scarfing down the entire meal. How do you even know how to make this? A uh, funny story actually. A couple of months ago, another ship capsized near my humble abode. Sometimes when I have nothing better to do, I explore these wreckages. 
Not because I'm after the bodies of land dwellers or anything like that, but because of what these ships bring. These little trips I come across trinkets, gizmos, gadgets and so much more. This trip was special as I finally found a book on cooking fish. Strange I know, before finding this book I only knew many ways to cook fish. This no offence to the developer, but this is a slow start. <laughs> when when something spooky gonna happen? The horror game. I think that I know what you're getting at. We can only take so much of the same thing before we get bored. I need some spice to keep it engaging. Guess you like my spice then. Say so that being alone, Daddy, can be nice. And so all the time, well, it becomes numbing. I see, you know, that on that ship, I was trying to break out of my same old routine. You know what happened? It's like the world is telling me to just stay in my numbing schedule. Perhaps the world is telling you to go off routine. This situation right here now is a massive change, no? Yeah. I have an idea. Your boat vacation failed. Why not stay with me as a little vacation? Oh, I didn't think of that. But it sounds... I get your bed set up and everything, and you like my roommate. I know that we don't get to know each other very well. Oh, God. How does it sound? You get a vacation, I get a roommate. She makes a lot of good points, so I do kind of want to stay now. Will you stay or not? No... Nah, I'm sorry. I want the horror to happen. I'm sorry, but I can't stay. Rejecting me? I'm not rejecting you. It's just that I have so many responsibilities up on the surface. Well, so they all say. If you don't like me, then admit it instead of lying to me. Ideally, I do like you. It's just I need to get back up there. Why did you make me think you liked me? You need to really want to get out of here now. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I want something scary to happen. <laughs> you won't even say anything to me. Fine. Try and leave. See if I care. Quick, get the knife. <laughs> this bitch crazy. <laughs> uh, you don't get the knife. She's gonna get the knife, you moron. Envelope the painting. In a beach with a palm tree in the foreground. You wonder this painting is so well preserved. Uh, oh, it's starting to pick up. I don't know, I was starting to drop off for a bit. It's like it was way too nice. But oh, the payoff was good, yeah. I knew she was going to be a yandery. <laughs> no. I want you to stay with me. Can I save? Better save. Never know. Never know. Could crash. Good. There's a bunch of books in the bookshelf. For some reason you wonder if you move this bookshelf. Yeah, you probably can. Also, it's a horror game. Bookshelves are meant to be moved. Get your Godelia in the room. When you move close to the door, you hear an eerily familiar melody being hummed by her. There's a pain in her voice. As much as you wish to bid Godelia goodbye, you dare not enter. Get the knife. God damn, you never pick up anything. This is an adventure game. You pick up stuff. You pick up everything. Pick up, you never know. If someone had this, they'd probably be arrested. Coral. Really? You can all let to pick up coral.
cavernous sound. Simple microphone. You do not sing into it, but you know what caf cap cocophonous. How do you say words? I don't know. You contaminate the air with can cacophonous. It's a very fancy word. Be the exit, the exact place you need to be right now. I don't know how I feel about this. I got Skadili to help get me out. She didn't want me gone after all. Hmm, no Skadili, eh? Well, what do you want me? You already take advantage of me, Melissa. So. Isn't anything like that at all? Quite. Stop, where are you? Screams are muffled by the water. No, no, stop it! I want out, stop it! If you fight and fight back against Cordelia, but she's holding you down with so much force that it feels like a nail are cutting your skin. You know, it's a mistake in thinking you could leave here alive. Down here for so long, you're like my only light here forever. Down here in a quite a grave with someone. A chance to live with and grow old with someone. Been through this so many times, I'll share my aquatic grave. You die in the sea, just as long as I will. In cell. <laughs> <laughs> incel. <laughs> I don't know, can women be incels? Or oh, cat lady. <laughs> incel. <laughs> Ending one is shared grave. So he's killed us. Will I play the game again? I forgot to save it. The painting. So freaking on it. Well, I guess I'm going to play it again. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Of course. Alright, I think I'll stay with my little cruise replacement. I think I'll stay with my little cruise replacement. Why be in the water? We can be in it. I just wonder if it's, I'm going to get your new home set up. Like a house cat, how are you going to go anywhere? That's really cute. Goodness, Morrissey, scared, Millie. 
Oh, boring. Oh, sorry about that. Come on. Try to kill her. Try to kill her, Cordelia. Been a long time since I've even been startled by someone. Anyways, enough about that. How do you like the room? I didn't get to do too much, however. I hope it suits your tastes. Gotta say, I like this much more than the cruise ship's rooms. Feels much more intimate and cozy. That's good. This is going to be your home for quite some time. Let's get some soda. I'm sorry you're tired from the events of today. Keep sleeping here, you rain tree bear, Cadelia. Do you want to get some sleep? No, I hate sleep. Escape. Escape and make her angry. Books are self care. Okay, self help books. What can do is actually use self help books as intended. Nope. Oh, fine. Show your eyes. Should have used it to transporting you to the dream world. Or not. The music tickles your ears. It's that melody again. I'm not just hearing things, am I? Want you to be to regain yourself. You're more likely to be hearing things who are not composed. Even when you're not feeling groggy, you can still hear it. I'm not going insane, am I? I'm not a conscious person, knowledge. You should probably search around for a bit. She doesn't have a walk animation. She kind of just slides around. Not like it's a bad thing. It doesn't matter. It's not a walk animation. This is a stylish, stylistic choice. She just slides. Look, Cadeli, it's just you. Here I was singing at someone broke in. Oh, you seem quite the habit of stalling me. Hey, sorry for that. Wait, Mari? Ah, just know what I said. I think it's cute. I right, think Mari. No, it's what are you doing here? Well, this is my home. I roam my please. Couldn't help but notice he faintly smells of salt water. Maybe that's just some water from the pool. Come on, somebody's got to die. Adelia is also dripping with water. Don't mind the water. I went out for a midnight swim. The deep dark void called the ocean. I'm so bloodthirsty. <laughs> It's nothing better. You really don't know how someone could like being underwater at night, surrounded by nothing but pitch black. Oh, Cordelia is much braver than I, that's for sure. Let's get you dried off, Killer. You're completely soaked. Till you rush to the bedroom, not to do anything weird. Once Cordelia is dried off, do you feel like sleeping? Both just lay in your respective beds, gazed. It's fixed to the ceiling. You have quite a bit on your mind. How much ask her about that song? Hey, Cordelia, can I ask you something? Of course. This is song. I've been hearing it over and over and over again in my head. Same song I heard before the ship song. And heard it again, just a while ago. That's why I woke up. I think I'm going crazy. I couldn't find where it was coming from. Could you perhaps describe the song for me? It's kind of hard to put my finger on it, but it sounds relaxing. The kind of spin is sweet, Ray. Oh, I think I know. I know what's going on. The song is known as the Sirens Call. Sirens? Yes, Mari. Sirens. This really should be too surprised that sirens exist. Assuming this is an underwater house. Sirens call is meant to hypnotize those who are snared by the lovely melody. Usually sirens attack large ships seeking to sink them by hypnotizing the crew. They they take people captive, keeping them as pets, if you will. Seeing the siren attack the ship I was on? Very well could be the case. I don't want you to worry about that. Long and I'm here, they're not gonna yet take you from me. Why do you say that? I'm a ways of stopping bad things from coming. Cordelia, how do you do all this? All this stuff about sirens. Probably because she is one. Look at her. A little like 
down here for a long time, all by my lonesome. It's no brand. I know a thing or two about these, those that reside here. Though Cordelia speaks in such a lumpy tone, you can't help but feel that there's a bit of sadness in her voice. Murray, what's wrong? You know why you're being to feel terribly for Cordelia. Very well could be resolved by the fact that you tend to think more than the night about whatever haunts you. Maybe it's the idea of living in this dark abyss for a long time that fills you with pity. Maybe it's because you try to see meaning in everything. Maybe Cordelia doesn't feel as longing as you initially thought, or maybe she does. In the end, after twang with taunt, you bite your tongue. Nothing's wrong, I'm just really tired. Uh, I guess that I really should be getting dressed here. Good night, Barry. Good night, Cordelia. You can feel much closer to Cordelia now. You feel much safer with her around now. You can Cordelia sleep until the sun rises. Yeah, that was probably the best sleep I've gotten in a long time. So you recall lost night's work sustained by energy drinks and coffee. Come on, I don't I don't buy that she'd wanna stay here. Why, what happened to you, woman? <laughs> you get, you've been confined to a house like a house cat. <laughs> I mean I uh, well, I'll, gi I'll give you my thoughts after. This second deal is nowhere to be found. Well, I guess I must have woken up earlier than I did. Should probably go find her. Come on, she has to be eating somebody. Hmm, she's been in here. She looks so busy with something, I didn't think she noticed me come in. Filled with the urge to prank Cordelia. All they do is move quietly. Sneak and sneak and sneak like a serpent stalking its prey. Do you finally reach Cordelia? Go to tap her on the shoulder when. Are you starting me, Murray? Ah, oh, thought she was going to do something suspicious. Ah, oh, it didn't work this time. Yeah, of course, and it's when I'm not trying to startle you that it works. That's how Cordelia is wearing a bracelet. That's a pretty bracelet. Uh, this old thing? Yeah, where'd you get it from? It's just a family heirloom. Gaze at the large sapphire gemstone, you feel like it's put you in a trance. Such a pretty shade of blue that you want to stare in it forever. If you go to the kitchen, Mari, it'll be there in a second. Cordelia quickly puts the bracelet in the little box and then looks at you, waiting for you to leave. So you do as you instructed and leave the library. As you're leaving, however, you hear something shifting. And it shifts back. She didn't wait for Cordelia a bit more. Sometimes she comes back in the library and gets to cooking up breakfast. Very tempted to cry about the elephant in the room that is the library. I could look around there later. Oh no, Mercer, what are you thinking? That would be terribly rude. Alright, Mari, huh? Today's your first day of a real vacation. Uh, yeah, right. So I think that maybe we could do something fun, like playing the piano. That's all you have. You don't have a gaming console or anything. Why would she stay with you? Once you're done eating, we can make some music together. Sounds good. It's boring. I'd be freaked out. Mari, go to the piano, you can get to playing, or are you more interested in singing? Hehe, <laughs> I'll sing for you if you want music ruined for you. So I think the singing can't be that terrible. That's fine, I'd rather play the piano. Sit down on the piano bench. Cordelia follows. You've been this musically inclined, so you haven't had the faintest in here to play alongside the whole deal here. Mario, do you need help? Um, nope. I think that you do. Or you could sound so disharmonious, to put it lightly. Sort of like a whale undergoing, undergoing the transformation from calf to adult. When that happens, this song becomes rather ear grating. Really? It's fine. 
That's inspiring. Let me guide you. Every monster in music started from somewhere. Tardelia's smooth hands touch her own hands. She guides you through the piano piece. You can feel butterflies in your stomach. Oh my god, the lesbians! Cadillac continues to guide you, keeping a firm grass in your hands. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> bet you did. <laughs> Eventually, the two of you finish the piece, so he's just done playing it again with Cordelia. Yet she happily obliges. Two of you continue playing your piano until you both feel as though your eardrums will bleed out. That time falls, and the two of you go to bed and rise for another day of fun. Are they gonna fog? Two of you probably profit the entirety of the next day. There are much time for games, and actually Cadillo beats you. Playing Monopoly, I hate Monopoly. I can't imagine it being that much fun. There's only two of you. Damn, we're so bad at this. Might be bad right now, but maybe you practice me some more, you might be able to beat me someday. But Cadelia said that doesn't make you feel so you've been put down, however. Really, you feel as though she sees potential in you. The next day. Cordelia gives you a little tutorial on makeup. Alright, this looks ravaging on you. I'm surprised you've never gotten the makeup. I tried, but there isn't really any good at it. Besides, I'm way too ugly to even cover up my face. Nonsense, Mari. Makeup is meant to emphasize the amazing features you already have, like your lips. Cordelia carefully, carefully applies lipstick here. Lips, even holding your lips a bit to prevent smudging. Sad Mary, I can't actually. I actually believe you're quite cute. Really? Why else would I tell you? Is a punchline to a joke? Why do I want to kick? Huh? Why don't I just squish your cheeks till they pop? Oh, she's gonna be lesbians. Gonna lesson up. A very nice stay with Cordelia. The two of you are in more moments where you feel butterflies in your stomach. At Giga at night, the two of you lay down next to each other and chat. How does that explode with emotion every time Cordelia did this? Also, Cordelia eventually returned their own bed to rest. When uh, you were asleep, with the knowledge that Cordelia would protect you from everything. The mind is able to enter the dream realm every single night. The dream realm will be used more like a vague recollection of memories. Or better off or worse. One particular night, it's definitely for the worst. We're so even listening. I'm sorry, I called Sam. Yeah, right. Clearly you did listen to me when I came the makeup. I told you last time to wear makeup when we're out in public. I'm wearing makeup, a lot of it too. That's why I was kind of late today. I didn't know I could ask you for help, or I didn't want to bother you. Or... What kind of girl doesn't even know the basics of makeup? Oh, abusive lesbian relationships. <laughs> the... Okay, no, too spicy. Too spicy for YouTube. <laughs> Sarah Hell doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. I really thank you. I thought that I went overboard. Looks like your natural face. It's nothing, something to be proud of. Um, look, Barissa, if you're not going to bother looking nice for our dates, then I'm not going to bother being nice. I'll, I'll be better next time. <laughs> uh, both of you assume they'll be in me next time. Tim's boisterously laughing as he's passing by looking at the two of you. Sinking to your seat. No, oh, she's being bullied! <laughs> This feels hot, like you end up being sobbing on the spot like the pathetic loser you are. You're just like a little girl who needs someone to love her. You wonder this is what love is supposed to feel like. People always said love is give and take. Maybe you let her take a bit of your dignity. She's giving you that affection you've been craving. Well, so when has it ever gone like that? In a few months of take, take, take. Finally giving you the most passionate makeout session you've ever seen. Oh, finally giving your boss the most passionate makeout session you've ever seen. God, everybody's a lesbian in this world. Kissing your boss with so much more passion than you ever kissed with you with. 
What spin do I see this make at such an easy diminutive presence? Thank you, Jewel. I can't know you having any side chicks, so bye bye, and then kicks you to the curb. You proceed to beat yourself up this for the next year. How can I let myself get on almost cartoonishly terrible girlfriend yourself? Desperate hoping your mind will give you an answer. All the red flags are there, and the aggressive messages followed by a shower gifts to the blatant disregard for your dignity will not outside. You still stayed for a long time, trying so hard for your approval, hoping about some miracle that you finally love you. Even though you haven't known Bordelia for very long, you feel an explicable pull towards her. Can't quite put your finger on why you feel this way towards Cordelia, though. You just being the bad girl douchebags make your life living hell. Me too. Me too. <laughs> douchebags. I think. Yeah. Like with women being in the douchebags, men are also in the douchebags as well. You ever mean women that just seemed good? Is there more for you than anyone on the surface has at the very least? He doesn't say with Cordelia, you realize that you're going to have to leave soon. So you have to get to know even more about Cordelia. It's looking quite pretty outside, isn't it? Say she is outside his bunker in aquatic darkness. Surprisingly nice all the way down here. Right, I can tell you perturbed. What's the matter this time? You know, a couple of days back on the day that we met, actually, you mentioned something about loneliness. Living down here can be nice, but isolating. Don't mean to sound intrusive or anything, it's just... Why do you live at the bottom of the ocean? She could do that, I'm sorry, I'll take it back. That was a bit intrusive, wasn't it? Too intrusive, wasn't it? No, no, it isn't too intrusive. No one's ever cared to ask for that. Me that before. Well, they ever answered that question. I want to remain a fascinating new figure if there was no air of mystery about me. Around me. God damn. The entire. Um, my jaw's getting tired from talking so much. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. Why do you ask such a question now? It's just that. Uh, takes every ounce of mental energy you have to squeeze out. Squeeze the following out of your mouth. I have to leave soon. It's fine though, because we'll make the last few days worth it before I leave. Oh, she's gonna kill ya! She's gonna kill ya! Some eternity passes before she ponders the next words. Leave. Leave me. Kill her. Come on, I want something interesting to happen. <laughs> Sorry if I get a little tense there. Very first person down in years, Mari, and I don't think anyone on the surface has come down by the time I'm gone. I think that I get what you mean. Says, could you really his jaw is tense? He's holding back a scream. In that case, let's not talk about leaving for the time being, okay? You could really go to sleep, just will you? Just as you have all the other nights before. This time, you come up and shake the feeling that something big and terrible is going to happen. Granted, it's already the way that you think. You rise with light on outside, guaranteeing a ray of promise. Again, it seems that Cordelia has gotten up before you. You know the drill by now. Find Cordelia. Not load. Not no load. Bunch of books in the bookshelf. For some reason you wonder if you move this bookshelf. Oh, this is the second time I find any Cordelia. Where are you going right now? Fortunately, I'm most out of food, so I'm going out to get some. From where? The underwater marketplace is what you land while the school grocery store. Should be gone for too long, alright? Okay, I'll see you soon.
No, how am I going to pass the time like Cordelia? I'm not that good at entertaining myself. It's actually quite a bar of things you could do here. Really? <laughs> like what? <laughs> There's no gaming console. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to try. Come on, just escape. Just shooting on it. Yeah. That's a sheet of paper. Sound closer, you realize it's sheet music. Got sheet music. Alright. Sheet music before playing, yes. Oh, this is rough. Play the knife. Play the the knife the knife game from Red Dead Redemption. Oh.
Ooh, a massive cone shell sitting on top of it. Big inside the thing. Oh, well, well. Okay. I think I have to have to cheat. Five, four, three, two, five. All right. Cheating. Cheating. But look at the... Something open early is really familiar. Why does Cadilla have suit music for that song? There's a little box in the wall in Den. You open the box and find that several bracelet Cadilla wore the other day. Yes, yeah, steal it and Little note is in the box too. Use this bracelet to change forms. What does it mean by change forms? It's right about science and information about their behaviors. Most notable things are the fact that they capture humans and keep them as pets. Another thing that you notice is the science called an effect the physical plane of existence in addition to the mental. Some of the pages are straight up scribbled out, but you can make out a couple of words, including curse words. You don't know why exactly you took this book. Not all, there's no kind of information as what this book contains. But you're bored, so you read it anyways. You read the book to one of the first pages. Sometimes I don't exactly know why I have this book. I guess it's akin to speaking with someone. 
I see actual social interaction and most the filter that I have to put over my words. So this is more like spilling my thoughts onto a page. Books said, those books said the journaling is good with combating isolation. Given the difference between the two, I don't really think so. Well, there seems to be some sort of journal. Turn to another page, the handwriting appears much sharper. Hate this, I hate this, I hate it, I hate it. Alright, let me collect my thoughts. I was reading Legend of the Siren. I don't know why I was reading it. I knew that it would upset me. Upset me. That's because it's the only way of knowing what people truly think about me. One thing I read completely set me off. Just never trust the siren. If you do, all they do is to realize you make you stay with them. Those are people who really think about those like me. We wouldn't dare to sing our songs if they gave us a chance. It never occurred to them that we can't do this because of content like this. Content that guarantees that we will learn forever. Randomly fifth to another page. There's super more information. You stay a massive ship sunk during a thunderstorm. Let's keep in mind they have nothing to do with it. Young man was sinking, unconscious when I found him. Decided to take him to my humble abode just so I could, could heal. Everything was going so well, but somehow he came to the conclusion that I was a siren came to the conclusion that I orchestrated the whole thing, from the boat sinking to rescuing him. So he left, all because of the idea that I'm a siren. You know what, sometimes I feel like I'm two people, Siren Cordelia and Pearson Cordelia. Person Cordelia is me, and Siren Cordelia is a person that people think I am. Wish I could take Siren Cordelia, force her into a nightmare brief. Maybe we'll finally be get rid of her. Well, it'll matter anyways. Siren Cordelia will only be dead to me, not to anyone else. You know what? I don't see why I bothered to try hiding Siren Cordelia. She's the one in the spotlight, holding everyone's gaze in her slimy claws. Maybe I should just embrace her, like the self-help book suggested. If I can't kill Siren Cordelia, then at the very least I could use her power to my advantage. Not to hurt anyone, of course, just, just to stop being alone. The rest of the pages are empty. So, why does she... Why... Why do they evolve to... To seduce people, though, and keep them as pets? I don't get it. For what purpose? What evolutionary purpose does that solve? Unless they sex them. <laughs> Presumably they're just women, so... I mean, do they just have sex with them? <laughs> so they, be, they, they get the baby, the baby battle around of them. Several things occur to you, none of which I'll say, because I should be dead on with yourself to reading that. But that that can't be true. Cordelia, a siren? Well, duh. This just changes everything, doesn't it? I get to rethink everything that's happening in the last past few days. The ship sank. Did you have anything to do with that? And everything after that? Was it just uh, some sort of plot? After this realization, some things make a bit more sense, but others make even less sense. And worst of all, is there anything even real between us? It was just under a spell. Then again. Well, it's just under a spell. Does it mean that these memories aren't real? Does it mean that I didn't experience those lovely things? Does it mean that I don't love her? It's all assume she did have me under a spell. Feels like your limbs are frozen in place, like you want to move left, but you also want to move right, so in the end you go nowhere. In your mind, thousand opposing thoughts are battling for dominance. You don't know what's true or false, or even right or wrong anymore. So... Will something happen? She's back. Ah, oh, that was a nice trip. Presses working like a charm. No one looked at me all weird. 
Better get to putting all this all the way. I really don't want to talk to Cadillo right now with all the knowledge you have. How do you really want to get out? Wait, I need to think. Run! I didn't realize Cadillo was a siren before this moment. I did not realize she was a siren. So I call this time C4. Something bad is staying right in front of me and I just ignore it. I don't list out any other red flag you can think of. You don't think of how clean she got when you suggested leaving. Can't deny the fact that I get where she's coming from. Maybe this is why she didn't want to tell me that she's a siren. Speaking of Delia. Great, the deal is walked on you trying to possess everything. Mari, what are you doing here? Sounds flooded now, but answer much you wonder if Kadili can see it. Can't tell if it's because of the butterflies in your stomach or because of this rising horrid feeling in your chest. Aye, Kadili, I need you, I need you to ask you something. May I go first? What are you doing here? Well, come risk, come with a good excuse for this one. Sure knows your intentions to leave this place. What are you going to say? You felt like looking in the water? What kind of excuse is that? Your current mental state also isn't helping the matter. Figure love and the needs of both clashing in the mind makes me want to vomit it all out. So I focus on both these things your speech is put to a halt. I want to vomit all your words. <coughs> Just like the atmosphere in this room, that's all. Is this excuse that you're going for? Oh, I see. I do have to agree with you. This is a nice room. It's very, very nice, just like you. Uh huh. Literally, you dodged a bullet with that one. Dear sleeps, seriously, the belief that you kept a scandalous secret for you for another night. You, on the other hand, just got in your shut eye for obvious reasons. You're sleeping in the same room as a siren. It's not that big of a deal. She's got big boobies. She's like, <laughs> the boobs, the boobs though. Did she knows, there's no other way she didn't notice that something is up with me. Did I put her diary back correctly? Also, why can't sirens hang out with each other though? I mean, that's really weird. A lot of this stuff doesn't make any sense with their race of sirens. Did I put her diary back correctly? If I didn't, she know for certain. Then again, maybe she didn't notice these things. There's no way she can't notice, can notice everything, right? I'm gonna go and check right now. The bed attractive, great idea, yeah, because you're hypnotized by her. A green haired woman. Seems that this bookshelf closed to its own. Consider where this book is supposed to go. But you don't need to logic figure out where to place the diary. Where was diaries in hand? Mary? It's like you caught red handed. 
Cordelia, fancy seeing you here. All right, what are you doing up at this hour? Um, Cordelia looks at what you're holding. The arms you wear in the eyes is her own diary. What exactly are you doing with that book? Oh yeah, this book. Just organizing it. You need to organize the books because you're reading them? Yes. No, I just really, really like organizing things. No reasons. It's no brainer that you're peeking. Hmm. Bravo, Missy. You're truly an astounding actress. Thanks to your award winning performance, Cordelia, he's probably going to put you on a leech or oh, eat you. You know, I should make you think that both of those are indeed awards. Sorry, I guess that might be well earned up to it. Should know they find out about this sooner or later. And he's in love, tug your mind in opposite directions. On one hand, you can't exactly know the possibility that oh, Cordelia orchestrated this whole thing that had been manipulating you this whole time. On the other hand, you see why she would do it. After all, you do something as desperate as that. <laughs> Ugh. If you were as lonely as Cordelia. What'd you say to Cordelia? Why didn't you tell me? Cordelia's yeah, in there, Cordelia. Enough in there to find out what happened the last time someone found out about who I am, right? Yeah, I did. But the bees. Together yourself, Mari. See how I see. Go to Cordelia. You see a mirrored image. An image of someone who's alone. Only as wise as who she is. Only feels trying to world against her just for trying to be herself. So now's the time you tell me, screw you, Siren, I'm leaving? No. You're still leaving, right? Calling all your memories from the service, little few of them make you smile. The most you can do is make you laugh at how dumb you were back then. Yeah, then any sane person at the surface will probably tell you to get out of this fantasy and return to reality. People who tell you they're living the life of your fantasies. That are living the life of your fantasies. Sort of like that time when your boss told you that money didn't matter, surrounded by luxuries that you can only dream of. Even Cordelia will force you to back in that mundane, dreary life. As that if that is what reality is, they don't want any part of it. Cordelia, you've been the best part of my life so far. Okay. I mean, <laughs> no, DK is fine, but this is. This is not a horror. Wouldn't leave you for anything in the world. What's this? You're moving in awfully close. Keeping some of you and in myself, Cordelia. Oh, I guess they were both sharing our big bad secrets now. Since I already know something about you, I want you to know something about me. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'm gay and I'm proud of it. I didn't care for you, Siren. You were being influenced by some sort of magic. I don't think that anyway, it makes any of what we experience less real. Besides, I'm already on the influence of something else. What is that? May I kiss you? You and Cadelia very close the lips of the man perfectly. Here goes wild as you, Cadelia. Indulge in fantasy. No more of that dreadful thing they call reality. Wasn't obvious now. Kuri likes you just as much as you like her. Oh, I don't know what to say. Well, we start with, I'm sorry for looking through your diary. I am sorry for looking through your diary, but that's kind of led to this. Alright, alright, you do in fact have a point. So what now? Not exactly take back any of the lovey dovey stuff I said. Well, this might sound preposterous for land but how about you live with me? Hell yes. We'll live with each other until the day that we die then. Share an aquatic grave. Now, dear reader, there's probably something to say about reality and fantasy and all that good stuff. I'm not going to talk about that. The other point, you have to willingly really, really give in to this romantic fantasy. Instead, I'm going to talk about two souls managed to come together in a sea of loneliness. This was, in fact, a love story. Maybe it was a unconventional at the beginning. But by the end, the two lovers were happy together, ignoring what they each suffered in favor of each other's company. Any for a credit grave. Lame. 
Lame. <laughs> I just... Come on, kill her! Kill her! Why did you do it? Hey, man, that's all I'm gonna be hearing. What, do you really think I did that? Why would I sink the ship? I ended up rescuing you. You just anything about a song sinking a ship. Why didn't you insinuate that? What's going on, Oxman? Who knows this? I just said your response has answered everything. So, what if you're hypnotized? It doesn't raise what happened between us. Certainly doesn't raise the fact that I saved you. You didn't save me, you captured me. That way I could be a pet or something worse. This is what you land ones don't get. I'm not like all these other sirens. I don't want a pet, I want a lover. Can you blame me for wanting that? No, I can't. Why do you have such a problem with this? Man goes back to all those times that the red flag was a being way right in front of you, sort of like a red flag and a bull flag. This out with the why you say lamb, why you have a problem with this normal, cool, totally not immoral stuff. You always complied against how could you, but then couldn't go fight them. You told me a lot, Cordelia. I'd play games, pick up music. Among those things is something that I never knew. You told me that I'm worth something, that I've got potential. Can't deny that what happened between us is real to some extent. That's the problem with your plan. I see myself as someone worth saving, that's why I'm not going to wait until you to break me. I'm sorry, Cadelia. Sorry you can't escape this hole that you're in, but I'm leaving. No, no! The escape is impossible. All the words came in your mouth is the library. There's no way in hell the Cadelia is ever going to let go of you ever again. But she might have loved her before this. So in for her own grace, she holds you down. Who's no, going to want out, are you? You're just like everyone else. We need the big bad siren out. Oh, that's exactly what I'll be. The melody swirls around your head. Your tense body relaxes to the songs of will. Amelia's finally overpowered you for good. I didn't like you so much. I probably had just let you drown. But you're so cute. I want to live a long, happy life with you. Live each other till there we die, then share in a credit grave. Leaning to Siren Love. Hot. <laughs> She's been mind broken. <laughs> I'll get Carl Great. <laughs> I get Carl Great. <laughs> okay, we got one more ending. Go on, more ending. Let's try that again. Try that again. Come on, I nearly finished this game.
Change your form, right? Oh, God damn, I forgot to. <laughs> it's so tense, I forgot to talk. <laughs> I'm expecting what to happen. After all, there's only so much a little bracelet can do, right? Still expect yourself to flail your arms about, except you don't. The eyes are glued shut with the fear of water invading them. Sometimes curiosity gets the best of you. Wait, this can't be right. I'm not dead yet. Open those peepers and. What the heck? Pant pant, oh goodness. Cordelia, ah, oh, goddamn. You talk to yourself, you realize something. Wait a sec, I can talk underwater. You also realize you finally have a swim thanks to your detail. Guess that's what the note meant by changing forms. Mari, Cordelia? Do you know the woman that merges Cordelia? You feel as though this isn't the Cordelia that you knew. Do you know? I'm not letting you buy one chance at a feeling life get away from me. You probably run now. Shoot, what am I gonna do? Come on, think. Well, it goes to the siren call. Where they get the physical world. Turn the key button to make the rocks go away. Damn it. I'm not letting you go. So I'm trying to force me to be with you. You have to let me go. You no, know, it's like being combined in the depths of the ocean. There's not a single living soul inside down there. You think I'm the monster? You're the one for leaving me just because this is what I am. I can't change this about me. I'm not leaving you because you're a sign. Leaving you because you're trying to make me stay with you. Well, would you have wanted to leave if you didn't even know that I'm a siren? Been waiting to leave. Doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you're a siren. Everything to do with the fact that I'm a siren. You never really get it because you're not in position. So well, be Mari. We leave me to run this godforsaken place called the ocean to return to dreary surface life. You leave me now, grow old to me, and share an aquatic grave with me. You know, I said I'll just be like all the others, whatever that means. You're just like all those women who chained me to them. Get where you're coming from. I really do, and I'm sorry that you've been hurt in the past. That doesn't mean you get to make my life a living hell. This isn't a goodbye. Cadelia watches you swim to the surface. Do you stun to even move? Speak. Stun that you were able to go off with the Cadelia like that. When you get to land, thankfully the bracelet gives you back your legs. You're pretty worried that the bracelet will take your legs permanently. What the bracelet can't take you from is the experience you have in the Wonder Water House. Long time you tried to analyze what was real and what wasn't. A few months past, you still haven't fully deduced those things. But you have come to the conclusion that you like yourself a lot more now. Stop telling yourself, Brissa, why'd you fuck up? And other things in sort. Even when you do feel kind of down, you remind yourself that you literally escaped a siren. After that, the siren that you loved at least thought you did. One year later. But you the reader might think that it's prosperous for a mercy to go on a cruise again, and certainly isn't for her. You know, last year I wasn't able to chill at all on this ship. But I guess that after what happened to me, nothing worse can happen. Besides, if there's swimming lessons were useful, even if something does happen, I'll be able to save myself. It's been years since I've seen Cordelia. I don't know what's going on with her right now. I have my own life to live now. Inning three, self love. So that was it. Uh, okay, I think I've got all the endings. I don't know what else I could have done to get more endings. So we've got one, two, three, and four. So what did I think? Um, yeah, it was. It was okay, I mean, it's beautifully drawn, like, I'd start with the good, like, 
Yeah, good graphics. Good graphics. The like hand drawn like tile set or whatever. The backgrounds were really nice. The what is it? The I can't think of the face. The face the faces were nice. The and the yeah, they were good. The graphics are good. Um. That ending one was good. <laughs> I like the ending one the best. <laughs> it's as quick as like, fuck you, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, and the story... I'll start with the bad. The story... was kind of... Well, it wasn't exactly bad, I would say. Because, like, you did get second place, but... I don't know, it was very slow. It was very disjointed, I mean that uh, Yeah. Like I don't know, I just didn't really gel with it. I guess not it was sweet I guess, but I came in here expecting a hard game. Really. I wish there was more horror. I don't know. What, what do I know? I'm, you got like second place. I mean, <laughs> you really have to listen to me. You know, I'm, I'm weird. I like the 16th place game more. I think it was 16th. I don't know. The, the C would. The. Oh, what was it called? The last game I played anyway. Yeah, it, it wasn't enough horror. I, it was very wordy. There was a lot of showing, not telling. I guess it is a visual novel, though, but... Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, that puzzle with the piano was really difficult. Hmm... Not good. I had, to, uh, I had to cheat and look up the solution. Um, yeah. What else? Yeah, the pacing. Um... Yeah, that just, like, you, you're playing a game, I don't know, I don't really like visual novel RPG making games. I feel like they should always contain some sort of, like, action or, like, some sort of adventure, venturing elements, like, using the system. Because, like, it was basically a visual novel. Very nice looking visual novel, mind you. Very nice. Like, a, yeah, but... Hmm, the story kind of let it down a bit. It wasn't exactly bad. Like, it still kept me engaged to the very end. Like, it did get all the endings. So, like, you can't know. Been, like, I would have switched it off. I, would, I don't think I'd play to the end if I didn't enjoy it at least a little bit. But, yeah... Hmm. So what else? Um, yeah, sorry for not liking it that much. I'm sorry to the developer. Hang on, what, what's your name? Hang on, I'll check. Lemon. So Lemon Ace. Yeah. Sorry for not, for being a bit critical, I mean. Uh, I mean, you got plenty of fans, so I'm sure you're not going to care what I say. <laughs> it's like, yeah, again, I, I'm not really a horror fan. I mean, maybe a, or like a story fan, really, either. So I'm not exactly very... 
not exactly the most reliable narrator of this. Like, not a reliable reviewer. But, yeah. To sum up, great graphics, but kind of slow paced story. And not enough gameplay. Could have had a little bit more gameplay. Yeah, but. It's nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not for heartwarming stories. I like sad stories. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I wanted the siren to kill her. <laughs> it would have been funnier. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll see you later.